Hello everybody, me the Horror Universe here, and today, as you know, I am finally going to see Halloween Kills in the cinema. And honestly, um, now that the day is finally here, we've been built up since 2019 when the film was announced and since then we've been getting a lot of promotions like back in 2019 we got the first behind the scenes look in July 2020 we got a first teaser trailer we got a next Halloween teaser trailer then in June of 2021 we got the official trailer and then the TV spots and the final trailer I believe I'm missing one no I think that's right but um of course, between all that, we got lots of promotional images for the movie. And, yeah, the hype for this movie has been absolutely unreal. Um, this, to me, while Halloween 2018 was really hyped, I honestly think this one was even more hyped than Halloween 2018. I could be wrong there, but this was hyped up to be, like, one of the best Halloween sequels of all time. And, let's just say, uh, let me just get up my display capture there. These, uh, I'm not being mean, but these reviews here, kind of a bit sketchy, I'm not going to lie. Um, because apparently a lot of people actually quite like it, but then it's got like 2 star, 2.9 Reviews and like three stars, really? Really? You're gonna do Halloween kills like that? Is it really that bad? I highly doubt it's worse than half the other Halloween sequels um, in the franchise, like um, Halloween 5, Halloween 3. Yes, I'm not a big fan of Halloween 3. Don't shoot me, please. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I really don't think it deserves that hit. Then again, I haven't seen the movie yet, so I can't necessarily judge. This is just going off by uh, pre-movie experience. Perhaps I might have a different view when I come out of the cinema. You know, that's always um, the case. But as of right now, I think these reviews are mm, a bit sketchy, you know. But, um... You know, it's Rotten Tomatoes and stuff like that. I, ne I never dive too deep into them, to be honest. Uh, I always go off my own opinion and what I think of the movie. And if other people think the movie is trash, then whatever, I guess. But, um, yeah, I'm honestly still looking forward to the movie. Despite the... um. Massive, I'd say, uh, drop in the ratings and that for the film. Honestly, I was not expected to get this, holy crap. But, um, <laughs> yeah, still looking forward to it. And it got like a 54 at the box office, I think. Hold on, let me just double check that. That's Halloween 2018, you bastard. 50.4 million that is mad considering um apparently not a lot of people want to go to the cinema this day and age so yeah that is absolutely crazy for halloween kills um so yeah overall thoughts uh on the uh score like i say i really don't know man um it does look a bit sketchy to me honestly but is what people's opinions are. I'm not going to completely trash them. If you dislike Halloween Kills, as I keep saying, you can dislike Halloween Kills. But please remember, if I come out of this movie and I either like or dislike Halloween Kills, is my opinion at the end of the day. And I honestly, I really don't know um, from seeing this. I really don't know how my uh, Opinions are going to be after this film. This is really weird because Coming out of Halloween 2018. I always knew What my opinions were going to be for that movie and that was going to be awesome It was going to be the best Halloween movie period But with Halloween kills, it's kind of uh, Weird. I really don't know what to make of it but um 
I'm still, as I said, I'm still generally excited. There are some quite positive reviews, actually, and they are spoiler-free, funny enough. But, um, yeah, man, can't wait to see Halloween Kills. I'll give you all my live review, probably around 7, 8-ish tonight, because I got to see the film at 5. And, yeah, I shall see you all then. Peace.